Good evening everybody, how are we all doing? It's been a hell of a day, hell of a day. So I spent the majority of my time in bed this morning because I physically couldn't get up. When I did get up, I just went out in PJ at this time. It's Sunday, about 11 o'clock, no one were out. I'll just quickly let the animals out, let the animals in, blah, blah, blah. And then I thought, what dreaded trip I need to do because I need a massive big bag of cat litter, which will hopefully last me the majority of the week. Um, so, me and Hannah had, took a trip to B&M, which is just like a five minute drive from where I am. And they didn't have it in, so luckily next door, Morrison's. So between me and Hannah going to B&M and then going back to the car to put her stuff in, the boo, to being in Morrison's, some twat, excuse me French, it's broken into my car, tried to, well not broken in but tried to meandle is all. <sighs> I came out to the alarm going off to the car and I thought, did you, I saw Satana, did you leave the uh, window open because Sometimes if you don't shut the window properly and a bit of hair goes in or whatever, fly or whatever, it just sets the alarm off. No, she said, no, no. Which she didn't when I got there, I checked. But when I checked closer, the handle has been damaged on my car. And it really, obviously, usually I'd go from one to a thousand of getting upset. But I couldn't do that because of Hannah. Because with the part of her autism, she struggles. So I didn't want to freak her out and she'd do a runner, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm a bit a bit annoyed with that, to be honest. Why can't people sleep with other people's property alone? You know, and I mean, the old car park were full of cars. So how um anyone... Obviously, people have been in and out majority of the day, by the looks of it, because it car, cars were coming in and out. And it's a large car park as well, so there's cameras. So why didn't some pick it up, you know what I mean? Not even valuable. Well, I won't even say valuable because it's crap. I got sat nav, and I'm not kidding you. It is crap. I think I don't know if I showed you it. Uh, the back camera. You can't even see out in the back camera. It's crap. I wasted twenty quid on that from TikTok stuff, and I won't be moving going back on there again. I'm gonna have to get a, a decent one, a decent camera. But the only reason why I bought it because I saw reviews. Oh, it's great. But I try to use it. <sighs> Nah. So that's the only thing that sat. So it just makes people think, oh, camera's on. Until I can get a decent one. And why is it that you stick something <laughs> on the glass? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because I, I'm struggling and I need some help. I don't know whether I use washing up liquid or what. But it's like that, that sticky stuff that you would think you would have on like your phone holder things like so it sticks onto the dashboard. No, they just slide off. This one's like, it's like it's got super glue attached to my window. I'm like, if I pull that, I'm going to crack my screen. So I've left my dash cam, because you can slide a dash cam off anyway with this one. So I've, I've just kind of left it without the wires so people think it's up and running until I can get a new one. But I think I'm going to have to use some washing up liquid on the window just to get that. It's like a popper. So it's like, I'm like, oh my anyway i'm babbling on so yeah that that's the reason why i haven't really filmed anything today because i got up late and then when i did get up and go and do something that happened so i kind of worried been worrying all evening afternoon should i say and it's just turned myself into a stomach migraine and oh my lord stomach migraines let me know if you suffer with them they're the worst thing ever Oh, your stomach goes rock hard and you, you just can't do it. It's agony. It's absolutely agony. And all you're doing is trying to rub under the, under your, you know, where your stomach is. And if, I'm going to have, have a closer to you with it. It's kind of calmed down a little bit now, but I don't know, guys. I'm just fed up. I'm fed up. It's also May, uh, it's supposed to be fibromyalgia month and also mental health month, I think he said. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. 
Right, guys, so I'm going to leave you and leave you. And I'm going to call it that. So I'll just jump on and just... Because usually I upload, I do my video, edit it, and it's up by 3, 4 o'clock. Today I just... I've been, you know, I, I lost my cool. Well, I didn't lose my cool properly, but you know when you're... You know, da, 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 in my head, like, oh, da, da, da. I can't people just have, get their own stuff and just leave other proper, people's property alone. There we go, thanks again for watching and yeah, uh, I'm tired. That has just wiped me out. Yeah, I'm so I'm going to take some pain relief, finish a cup of tea, uh, maybe have another one because I probably left it that long, it's cold. And who watched Britain's Got Talent last night? Let me think. Sorry, I've got all. I'm going to have to go, guys. I'm absolutely worn out. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to press that thumbs up, the like button, subscribe button, and that notification bell. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later. Bye bye.